Hi guys and welcome to today's task. For today's task, I'm gonna show you all things sod related. So a week ago, I came down with what I thought was either one thing, coronavirus, or it was my back giving out because of all the work we've been doing on this house. Come to find out, it was neither of those. It was actually a different disorder where um, the cartilage separates from your rib cage and the muscles and everything start separating and it uh, you got to get on a steroid and we've got that taken care of and now I feel like a million bucks but I thought I was on death's door last week so we hired out the landscaping the landscaping has had to be put in we put in sod here and graded all of this and we are prepping for flowers to go in here and we have some bushes that are going here we wanted the flower beds to come down here and enter into the house so that there's grass coming into the house then we wanted the flower beds to actually come out and all the way around the house around all the windows because there's plants that are gonna go here and there and we have them waiting at a greenhouse right now. So we have to pull up some of the sod that was laid down. That's not a big deal. I'm not too worried about that. Now this yard was in no way level to begin with but I got some grading done over there before I got sick and we didn't get the grading settled here but the sod got laid a little bit soon. Um, we've got to make some changes on it. We have a big dip right here that we've got to fix. We did bring up the grade along there which is great but there's a big hump right here which means water is going to want to go that way or this way. We need it to come all this way for a few reasons. We don't want the house to flood and second we don't want stagnant water anywhere near the foundation because it might sit there, it rots, it's just not good. You want water going away from your house at all costs possible and for final inspection they require sloping away from the house. So that's one of the things I'm going to show you how to do today. tip for laying sod when it comes to carrying it you're gonna brush against yourself so if you don't want stuff to get covered in fine grit dirt and sand and junk take it out of your pockets because your pockets will be full of dirt when you're done It's a gradual slope coming from the door all the way down instead of a hump back into the door. Um, we're ready to start laying sod and I'm going to teach you a few things about laying sod that most people don't know that will make the sod job look a million times better. If you're looking at this piece of sod that you have rolled out on your yard, you can tell that the grass is portraying that way and the cut is kind of underneath the grass. This is one type of end of grass on each piece of sod you'll be given. This piece of sod, which is next in line, looks the exact same. These are two matching ends and I don't wanna put them together. There actually is a, I don't know, I don't know what they call the ends, female or male, who knows, but they're ends that go together. One end of a piece is the start of another piece and they're cut at a certain way so that if you put these two together, it's gonna to be fine. You won't notice that in a week. But if you turn the piece of sod around and you have this other end, this end is more blunt. It's almost rolled up or something. I don't know why it does that. I don't know what on the machine makes it do that. But this edge is meant to go against this edge because that's how it was cut. And it will lay so much better. You won't have bumps every, what, six feet that your sod is laid. So you need to make sure that you're rolling it with this edge going against this edge. Somebody needs to be eyeing that when you're laying sod down. If it's you doing it yourself, you got to take the time to do it. It will make the job go a little bit slower, but it will look that much better. So you curl that part in, tuck it in tight, tuck it in tight against this line all the way down. You want these edges pushed against each other really, really tight so that there's no gaps in between. You don't want the sod to have to fill in gaps. It will eventually, but you don't want to wait for that. You want it done now. So. These edges the same. You need to make sure they're lapping properly and kind of pat it down. If when you are done with your sod job, your knuckles and fingernails are not brown, your knees are not brown from being on the sod, you did a crappy job laying it. I don't care who you are. That's just the way it is. I recommend having three people to lay sod. One guy to be on his knees, rolling it, tucking and tightening everything 
all the time and two guys to be feeding him. This job's a little different. I had to undo the sod and now I gotta relay it back down. So I'm kind of SOL for help. I'm just on my own and it's manageable. But if it's a big entire yard, you call all your neighbors over, show them exactly what you learned on today's task and then have the best looking yard possible. If you look at some of these gaps right here, these are gaps that the Kentucky bluegrass will fill in, but it'll take all of next summer to fill in. That's ridiculous. You didn't buy instant grass to fill in later on. Take the time, lay it out right, and get it done good. Now, here's what I wanna show you, and something that this contractor, I'm not gonna name names, I'm not gonna bash him too much, because he just didn't have the years under his belt that was necessary for him to take on a job by himself. So, hire somebody experienced. When you lay sod, if the front of the house is this way, you wanna lay the sod perpendicular to it, especially because there's a slant right there, but mostly because these lines that go like this in the long pieces of sod, they're gonna take the longest to go away. These short little ones, if they're stacked and staggered correctly, will go away really, really quickly, and your lawn will look like it's finished faster. So he went this way, which is proper, on the front of the house. But then up the side of the house, because he had a longer stretch there, he went that way. Now, when this is grown in, you won't see lines here, you'll see lines here, and then on the back, you won't see lines again. So I recommend going the same direction the entire time. I know that's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but those are the little things that make your job look that much better quicker. You paid a lot of money for instant grass. Lay it down so it looks best faster. We are up in the front yard now and we are just starting to cut in some of these nice lines. Some of them were set, but some of them weren't done where we really wanted stuff, so I've got to recut them. And I wanted to regrade this area because it was pretty crummy to begin with. Tip number, whatever number you want it to be, A, B, C, whatever. Go to your Army Surplus store and find you the largest foldable, lockable blade knife you can. You're gonna trash this thing. I've had this for a long time now. It used to be my brother's, now it's mine. I've used this to cut more sod than I know what to do with. And it's, I mean, seriously, it's as dull as can be, but it's perfect for cutting sod and it's big and it's collapsible, so it's not a like lock blade that I gotta keep out. It's really good to have. So go find the cheapest, junkiest knife you can and use it to pieces. One more quick tip is if you've got a little narrow strip like this, some people will be like, oh, I'll measure that and ballpark it and whatever. The easiest way to do it is set it into where it's going to touch over top of the cement and then use the cement. Then use the cement as kind of a scissors against your knife. Like I say, you're gonna beat the crap out of this knife, but you don't care. What do we care? It's a sod knife. But this way you get a perfect fitting piece every time. There you go, kind of tuck it in, lay it in nice, move this piece down, do it again. Put it against this piece of sod, put your blade in against the cement. Hearing the blade grind against the cement is awful sounding, but you know that's what this knife's purpose is? You just don't care. There you go. Perfect lines right in there. That's gonna go great. This piece is kind of angled and I can bring it in but then I got another little gap. So if I just keep pulling it till it fills in all of the space, and it's nice and tight. I pull it back to where this piece ends and where this piece starts. Cut against that side. Lay it down. Gotta cut that one just a little more right there. And it's like they were meant to be together. Clean up all your scraps and you're good to go.
You guys, now is the time where I am starting to clean up all these old rolls. Hopefully you can find a neighbor that wants the rest of your sod if you've got leftovers or find spots in the yard that are a little rough, patch it up with those. But the rest is pretty simple. Pick up all your scraps, clean it up, get rid of it, and start watering heavily so that your sod will take to the ground. And by the time next spring rolls around, this is gonna be beautiful Kentucky bluegrass lawn for this house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you guys are interested in a Today's Task hat, they are for sale for $35. That includes shipping to your doorstep. Just email mytodaystask at gmail.com. The information will be down in the description below and we will get one out to you immediately. They make a great stocking stuffer. They're great. I mean, I recommend owning like three or four. I own a couple of them because they're just that nice of a hat. So I would get one. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. What I thought was um, in everywhere else's time. We wanted these flower beds to come. There, sorry. It's tight enough. I mean, somebody mentioned that in the comments, so I thought I'd put on a tighter shirt. But don't measure it. Don't try to figure it. Out. That's too bad. Hopefully, you guys learned something new on today's task. I would. Oh, see. Hopefully, you guys learned something new today on today's tasks. Hopefully, you guys learned a few things from the tips and tricks I've showed you. If you guys are interested in any of the other videos, no. Hopefully, you guys learned something. Holy sheetrock, that's a lot of sod.